because Alan, I know a lot of people are curious how the weather is going to be, especially with that ro rodeo starting up. Yeah, Brett, today is probably the only day that I see at least a slight shower chance in the springs. Otherwise, the forecast is turning dry and hotter as we approach the weekend. So enjoy this morning. Check out the out the door conditions. We're in the mid 50s in Colorado Springs. Clear skies, so you want the sunglasses and with about a 20% chance of a shower. The umbrella, not a bad idea for the afternoon to early evening hours. Temperatures across the rest of the News 5 coverage area. Look at the cool air in the mountain areas. 39 in Westcliff. Mid 40s currently for Alamosa and Woodland Park. 59 for our friends in Denver, 50 in Monument, 55 the current temperature in Pueblo. And if you're about to head out the door, you got to make that morning coffee run. It's going to be bright, so the sunglass is a good idea. Maybe you park at the office, you walk down the street to get your coffee. Going to be very comfortable. Sunshine and cream at 9 a.m. Get it? Sunshine above, cream in the coffee. 71 degrees the 9 a.m. temperature. 80 degrees at 11 as we'll be warming up to the lower 80s. Now this afternoon, there's enough daytime heating and instability especially with that leftover moisture from the weekend that we could see a few storms pulse up. Now they'll be very hit or miss in nature, generally favoring the mountains with a slightly smaller chance across the I-25 corridor. Any storms that develop will have the potential for gusty winds, frequent lightning and small hail, maybe up to a pea or penny size in diameter. Let's talk about timing here as we fire off future cast. We'll pause it at noon. I think we see an overall late start to storm development for the mountains where we'll see at first they start to develop between about 1 and 3 o'clock as they drift east. They're going to fall apart as they move east of I-25. So a rogue shower, very small chance possible from the Denver Metro down to the Palmer Divider, Pikes Peak region, and then also down south closer to the Raton Mesa region. But as I mentioned, storms will be very hit and miss in nature and coverage. Now the big story late this week and weekend is this building ridge of high pressure already producing dangerous heat across the western third of the U.S. Our turn is next as we make our way towards the end of the week and into the weekend. Temperatures expected to be into the 90s and triple digits. Could see heat advisories, possibility of record setting temperatures, at least in parts of southern Colorado. Here's the latest allergy report. Everything on the lower side except grass pollen that is on the medium side. And as you look at your highs today, they're jumping up about 10 degrees from what we saw yesterday. Low 90s for Denver and Pueblo, 80 for Rye, 86 in the Springs, and 88 today in Canyon City. Take a look at the Super 7-day forecast, jumping up about 2 degrees tomorrow. Might see a foothill shower, but I think we're likely dry in the Springs with a high of 88. And here come those 90s. And we'll be in the upper 90s during the peak of this heat wave Friday to Saturday. For Pueblo, 90s here through Thursday. Maybe a storm today if we're lucky. Otherwise, we're dry with triple digits from Friday into early next week. Canyon City will be in the 80s today. After that, my friends, 90s each and every day through early next week. Hottest on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, also in the upper 90s. For Woodland Park, we'll see highs here in the 70s on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we jump to the 80s with a couple of drier days into the start of the weekend.